Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. You want to know what to do with your leftover smoked brisket? You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be making up some smoked brisket empanadas that are going to be delicious. Um, I was going to cook outside today, but uh, kind of started raining on us outside, so I'm going to do this inside. And what I have here is some leftover brisket that I thought out. And uh, this is brisket from my point end, as you can see that fat right there. You can also see that marbling that this uh, uh, prime brisket had. I did smoke this in my Yoder YS640 smoker, but I will be cutting out the fat because I don't want too much fat on these empanadas. And uh, really simple recipe, as I mentioned, using some biscuits that you guys probably have in your fridge right now. These are the small uh, biscuits. I prefer using the large ones, but since I don't have them, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to actually combine two of these biscuits to make one large biscuit uh, to make my empanadas. So I'm going to chop this brisket up and I'm going to saute it in a, in a pan. I'm going to add some more rubs. I'm going to add a little bit more of the Victory Lane Garlic Jalapeno Seasonal and some beef rub as well. You're going to need about one stick of butter just to brush the top of the empanada. You're going to need a little bit of water just to seal the edges of the empanada. And then I'm going to be cooking these on a pizza stone. I've got my oven warmed up to 400 degrees already. And then I'm going to put the empanadas, once I put them together, on top of the sheet here. And I'm going to put that on top of my pizza stone. So I'm going to get my stone in my oven. I'm going to chop up the brisket, open up these cans that everybody loves to open, to open up. And I'll bring you guys back. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Welcome back. So I went ahead and chopped up my brisket there. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the garlic jalapeno seasonal. Just like that. Oh, yeah. And this will break down a little bit, guys. It might even start shredding, but uh, they're small cubes right now. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more of the beef rub and seasoning. Just like that. Give this a good flavor. And again, the, the uh, Victory Lane rubs are low in sodium, so I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. I know they don't advertise that they're low in sodium, but trust me, they're low in sodium. So... Guys, I'm going to let this warm up, and I'll bring you guys back, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got my brisket warmed up, as you can see on this pan here, and I've already made up one empanada. I'm going to show you how I made this real quick. So I've got two small biscuits. Again, it's if you can get uh, the large ones, that's even better. Just stack them up on top of each other. Start spreading it out. Put a little bit of flour in there, on the bottom, and the top. Then if you have one of these nice rolling pins, makes things really really easy just spread it out I want to make like a football shape if you will okay and then turn it if it starts to get sticky on you just add a little bit more flour they don't have to be perfect guys we're not trying to win any contest here a little bit more flour I can sense it starting to get sticky on me Oops. There we go. So just around. Flip it one more time. A little bit more flour. And roll it out. So this is about what I'm looking for right here, guys. This shape. Almost like a football here. So at this point. That. Get my smoked brisket that I cooked up and some of it shredded. And it still has some chunks in there, so somebody's going to enjoy this. And by us, I mean my family. So add enough of that, enough of the brisket in there, just like so. Grab your little container of water and just pat the front edge with some of that water, just using your finger. Or if you want to use a brush, that's fine. Just like that. And then grab this edge over here and roll it so that the lip meets the other side. Just like so. Let me try to turn this for you guys without breaking it apart. But just like so, guys. Some of the brisket got out. Grab your fork. You roll this up here. Just like so. Then go ahead and grab your fork and pinch the edges down. 
just like this. And again, guys, if you have the the uh, biscuit that kind of breaks like this one did, just kind of pinch it with your finger like this. And again, guys, they don't have to be perfect. So just like that, guys. So I'm going to make eight more of these and put it on my cookie sheet right here, or my pizza sheet, I'm sorry, just like so. And then brush a little bit of butter on the top, just like this. Okay? So guys, I'm going to prepare the rest of these, and I'll bring you guys back, so stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So the empanadas are ready. They smell so good. They're nice and hot. So what I'm going to do at this point is add a little bit of butter, and just on the top like this, just a little bit. Oh man, it smells and looks good, guys. I can tell you right now that the dough is really nice and crunchy. Again, guys, these don't have to look pretty. It's the flavor that counts. So as you can see, this one's split open. This is the one that I made earlier on camera. And they all come in different sizes. All, I mean, the dough acts kind of funny, but um, I mean, you get real nice pretty ones like this one, the first one that I made, and then the second one that I made. I mean, they're all different sizes and shapes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and slice into one of these guys. And let's see what it tastes like. Actually, I'm going to get this one that's cut open here. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, nice and crunchy. Look at that. Look at that yumminess, guys. So I'm going to let this cool down a little bit, and we're going to give this a taste test. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So the empanadas have been cooling for probably two minutes, and I can't wait to give these a taste test. Uh, they smell amazing. They look amazing. And uh, let's give it a taste test. So again, you got this pocket of yumminess, still nice and warm. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. The dough's nice and crunchy. The meat has just the right amount of rub on it, spices. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can hear that crunch, but this is really, really good. Guys, I hope you like this video. Sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. Give me a thumbs up. Ask any questions. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See you guys.